Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, The Flood Samurai. My name is Sam and today we're playing Decked Out 2. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about, you know, like I I, I do have Minecraft Pro in in the title of this. Um and I wanted to clarify, it's like I, I have I'm not proud of this, but I have over a decade of experience just playing Minecraft, so I I have a I feel like I am allowed to say I'm a Minecraft pro. But yeah, Decked Out 2, we'll kind of get into this, but the idea of this is that it's a, uh, uh, it's a deck, a roguelike deck builder inside of Minecraft, and it's, honestly, it's the only one that I've ever seen, and the, and so, I mean, it's pretty amazing at that. Um, I've never seen someone do something like this before, and it, like I said, it's a, it's a lot of fun. I've only played the dungeon twice so far. The dungeon is ready for its next victim. And we're gonna we're gonna get to watch uh, this guy. He's one of the developers for this. <coughs> we're gonna watch him go in, and we'll kind of see how his run plays out. Um, but yeah, I'll kind of I'll do some explaining while he does his run and while we watch him do his run. So let's just go to his perspective. Wait, what is that? What does the fire do? Hold on. What's this do? Uh, right click on this fire. Oh. I didn't know you were supposed to right click on the fire. Guess I should have been doing that. Um. Oh. Yeah, he's doing a much harder uh, run than than I do. So you guys can see here all the different redstone stuff uh, along with this. But here, let's go back up to the spawn area, which I think is yeah, which is here. So what's he on? He's on deadly, and and the hardest difficulty is deep frost. So yeah, in this, you food is going to be very important. Um, the main thing is you need to avoid ravagers on the inside. So ravagers. So you get a deck of cards, right? You. Uh, so he was putting the shulker down. He put a shulker down and then broke it. That shulker has a deck of cards in it. Um, the thing with that is that you want to. Uh, th those car. On oh god, where is it? So yeah, this guy, he has a lot more experience than I do, so he knows a lot more secrets. Um, things like this, where he knows this underwater level, and Second wind. He knows this food source, as well as whatever's in that barrel, I have no idea what's in there. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's kind of see how this goes, and we'll see how his run goes. But yeah, so you need to avoid the Ravagers. Your cards from your deck will automatically play throughout throughout your run. Um, you will receive Quick step. the there's a there's a couple of different aspects of decked out. So you have hazards, which your hazard level will increase over time as you as your run goes through as you like go through your run, and hazards will um will randomly like the ha hazard level increase the chance of the hazard level will randomly um add barriers and stuff around to the pathways that you would normally be able to take so you could have like a pathway that you took and then like two minutes later there's a there's a wall there that you can't get past so that's just that that's one of the difficulties there's also this thing called clank which is based around how much noise you how much noise you make see there's a see that area that area was opened at first and then it was closed off oh okay so you can tell even for like even for like these guys that are developers it's like these levels are still not easy like 
it very much is, it very much so is still difficult for them. Sneak. <laughs> Give me a booty. What is? Anyways, see, so yeah, and you go through the dungeons, and you're trying to get. Um, I mean, I guess that person just didn't like him saying, give me a booty. Um, but no, yeah. So, you go, th you're trying, when you go through your, uh, go through the dungeon run, you're trying to get to your artifact. You have a compass and a, uh, and a map. And the, the compass will lead you to where your artifact is. And... The map just kind of shows you... Oh. Wait, what? Get a bunch of coins from that? Okay. So yeah, this guy has a lot more cards in his deck than I do. As you can see here, like, the different... So yeah, those, those sound effects that you're hearing, where it's, like, actually saying words, where it's, like, adrenaline rush and, um like sneak and second wind uh those sound effects are actually cards from his deck that are being played during his run so it's not like the typical roguelike deck builder where you're you go through uh you go through a battle and you're playing your cards but in this your cards automatically will play uh during your run so yeah, he's currently on the second level. Uh, with his with his difficulty that he chose, which was deadly, he probably is going to be on to level three. He um he did say uh earlier sneak before I uh before I started doing my runs, he said that in deadly there is a twelve percent chance. Uh, that you get a, a level 4 run. So, you have a chance to get pretty screwed. Pirate's booty. So I'm assuming the pirate's booty just spawned in right as he was about to leave. Oh, that was not good. Yeah, you definitely want to avoid taking damage as much as possible during this. Yeah, so, and then, yeah, the stumble stuff. Yep, see, he's on to the third level here. And there are going to be, uh, yeah, there's wardens around. Yeah. See, and then there's pressure plates around the map to make it even harder to avoid making sound. But yeah, if you once your sound level, your clank, uh, like I said, if your clank increases, the more sound you make. But yeah, when your clank goes up and reaches max level then there's harder enemies that start to spawn. So he was talking about in like level 1 and level 2. Sneak. Uh, you can have enemies like uh, evokers and vexes that will spawn.
I just say he can't really answer the question while he's trying to dodge a bunch of wardens, so I'm not going to push him for an answer until, until afterwards. Oh, yeah. If he stepped on that pressure plate, that would have immediately attracted him to him. Yeah, this is such a fun thing as well. Like, I'm excited to get into my next run and kind of show it off more to you guys. My first run on this was not very exciting. I basically died to a Ravager within like the first minute. And then my second run made it a little bit further, but uh, ran, started running out of food. And then I was running past a Ravager, and then as I was running past it, a hazard spawned in right in front of me. And I just could not, I, I died to the Ravager. <laughs> to say the least, died to the Ravager. Seems like he's almost done with this run, though. Quite surprised. I'm assuming you probably got his, uh, got his artifact then. Like I said, I'm not very experienced with this, but I'm just kind of assuming things. Ooh, that's a nice little hidden area. Black market? Oh! That is very cool. That is very cool. Still. Not sure what he bought. I wish I knew, but... Bro! That guy has a trident. That's deadly. Charge. Yeah, I was going to say, he's... Yeah, I need to learn kind of where the food spots are. Yeah, if he gets hit by that trident, he's done for. <laughs> Lost focus. Ooh. Dude, yep, just keep dodging, dude. It's your only chance. Um, that, yeah, that Triton does a lot of damage as well. He's gonna be very low on health. Here, let's see if I can see what his health is. No, I can't. Yeah, he's gotta be low. Oh, there's the villager. This thing is this old dungeon thing is so it's so ominous. So he's just trying to lead away the Ravager. So then he can go around. And go up this way. Stability. Oh, 
Oh. Yeah, this is not good. If he makes it out alive, I'm going to be very surprised. Yeah, I got my deck here. Yeah, he's Prince of Swiftness, yeah. Okay, let me uh join the queue. And then we can watch Freeze go next. Uh. I guess I could turn off hitboxes just to make the experience a little bit um, nicer. <clears throat> okay, so we're just waiting for freeze, or uh, we're waiting for the dungeon to reset. The dungeon is ready for its next victim. Yeah, hopefully I can do a little bit better of, a, of explaining everything once I actually get into the dungeon. But yep, pretty sure. Oh, okay. So yeah, let's go in. Okay. Make sure you sleep in the bed. And then, yeah, definitely. you could oh okay there we go dungeon okay i think i'm ready <sighs> sound effects make this so much more terrifying Okay. Level 2 artifact. for the artifact. Hopefully I have enough time for it. Is it? Is it in that? Is it like over here? 
sneak. Is it like here? Pointing this direction. I don't know the spots for it though. What am I doing? It's a level two. I need to get to level two. I'm what am I doing? Okay. Oh shoot. Dang! Oh, that's unfortunate. Getting to the level 2 area is definitely going to be rough, because I don't know where exactly... Dang. I didn't realize there was going to... I didn't realize there was traps like that, though. Yeah. So yeah, I have those in there from my previous runs. I'm gonna get another deck so I can uh, get the moment of clarity back. Okay, now I'm gonna die to this thing. I think, I think the strategy though is to eat a golden carrot before your run, just to kind of like get your saturation up. And then, it's kind of a cheating method, but I think that's probably the strategy because I didn't have to eat so quickly and I had uh, a lot more saturation. Okay, I pressed the button. So I'm just waiting. There we go. I had to press that. Okay. But yeah, I'm going to go to the spawn area, get another starter deck. Uh, is it? Yeah, warp two feet down the gym. There we go. Is Freeze next? Yep, seems like he is. So we're just waiting for this thing to reset. So yeah, and I'll show what the cards do. I guess I should have done that before. But yeah, treasure hunter, you get plus four gold. Um, this block. The dungeon is ready for its blank, next victim. I believe. I believe that's what that means. Yeah. So block and then so sneak blocks to clank. Moment of clarity. That's an ethereal card. So after it gets used once, then it gets destroyed. So that's why I keep going back to get a new deck. But this would. This blocks two clank, blocks two hazard, and you get plus four gold and uh, plus two ether uh, plus two uh, uh, essence. I don't remember exactly what it's called, but so yeah, we're gonna be watching this guy now go through his run. Hopefully, our next run can be a little bit better than it was. Last time around. Let's see if I can. Actually, there we go. Now we're actually watching him, I think. Maybe. Why is he looking to the left? Look at him. 
Hopefully we can just get like a level one, <laughs> level one artifact. So yeah, there's the exit. And so after after you get an artifact, you just need to go through there. Level two might have a different exit, but I think it's the same. I really need to try to like memorize this layout, but I'm not good at that. Did that wall just change? There's a Ravager. Bro, what are you doing? Don't just look at him. Freeze, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Ah, oh, he was trying to get the key there. I don't think tanking the hit from the Ravager was... Was that good of an idea, though. Oh, especially with one right there, okay. So you're just gonna have to try to juke it. There you go. Hunter. Yeah, no, that's not a good spot to be. Okay. I mean he got he got the Ravagers in that in that spot, so from here on he should be pretty much good. There's probably gonna be more Ravagers though, but you know, he at least knows where those ones are. Got another key. Yeah, you have to be careful not to walk into the bush, otherwise that's more damage that you take. My gosh, this is so much fun to play though. What is oh I think that was just a shadow effect that I was seeing there. This is so fun. Yeah, there's there's the wall that I ran into before. So yeah, there's a that's one of the hazards that can put be put down and he's got that hazard as well. But yeah, my second run I ran into that wall and there was a ravager there a ravager there waiting for me. So like I was trying to go past the Ravager and I made it past, but then the wall spawned in right in front of me. That was really unfortunate. Yeah. Oh, don't die to the bush. I would have gone onto the cobblestone and then grabbed it. I, otherwise, yeah, you're just going to be sliding into it. I think he's gotten a bit of a luckier run than I did. Then again, he also knows a little bit more of what he's doing than I do. Stumble. Here, and I have my sprint toggle. Yep, okay. Just making sure. That's another hazard there, that wall to the right of him. Those blocks there uh, represent a hazard as well. There's some more food there, which would be nice. Got another key. Yeah, it was definitely my arrogance thinking like because the first time, before I even did a run, I was like, I'll probably do this, you know, first try, so I might as well go, like, hard mode, right? I didn't go hard mode. Oh. Dang. Dude, that is 
Dude, I didn't even realize there was a... Yeah, that... Wow. That sucks. So yeah, you don't get anything for complete for doing a run unless you complete it. So that's why I would rather it just Yeah, I had no idea that was there. Dang, that's so unlucky for him. That really sucks. Jeez. So yeah, I, like I said, I think the strat is eat a golden carrot. Okay, eat the golden carrot. Uh, wait for it to reset. Once it's once it's available, then I'll put uh, the shard in, and then and then yeah, we'll be able to go from there. The dungeon is ready for its next victim. Put in the shard, wait for this to open. I do like this, how it like, it's like a loading sequence. You know, wear hats in the dungeon, they continue down. Okay! Uh, I don't think I need anything. Everything should be fine. Put my deck in. Putting it in. Honestly, might even want to go for, like, easy or something, but, um, Auntie did say that medium, its relics are worth, like, uh, 11 to 23, so, I mean, if I can get the artifact, that'll be good, but it might just be easier to, uh, do easy so that I don't have to worry. So, yeah, this is, yeah. So I just need to find a key. Okay. Moment of clarity. So yeah, let's make sure we're shifting so we're not making too much noise. Probably should have done that from the start, but it's fine. Uh, Sneak. A key would be really nice right now. Please, game. Ravager right there. There's a Ravager up there too. Okay, well, I need a. I might just wrap back around, I think. still there. This guy over here is still there as well. Then we just need to go up this way. Okay, I forgot about that. 
Dang. Dang. Yeah, I really thought I could squeeze past there. Oh my gosh, this is this is hard. Screw medium, this is hard. <laughs> uh If uh Freeze is probably gonna go again. If he does, then I'm gonna uh, just wait for him and then I'll do another run and I think that's gonna be it for the video. I'm just kinda waiting for my um my shulker to show up so then I can grab it, put it in here, and then just grab a new one. Because I'd rather have moment of clarity than obviously not have it on my deck to be as optimized as possible. See, I'm just gonna gonna try to run out my sprint. I'm gonna grab a shard. Go back to spawn. Got the starter deck. Go to the dungeon. And just wait for him. And yeah, I'm gonna try to wear out my. Like I said, just wear out my saturation. Gonna take some damage. Alright. Okay. Saturation is worn out now. Now he's gonna go. The dungeon is ready for its next victim. Just in case someone joins, I'm gonna put my cube. I'm gonna join the cube. Just wait for freeze to go. And now we can watch him. Love to get in a VC with these guys sometime. Get into a VC with these guys while they do the run, so then it's a little bit easier to see how things go. Why am I? Why are we looking back? Why are we looking back? Oh yeah. Yeah, I wish that wasn't a level 2 artifact that I had gotten, but it's fine. I should have played it better. But at the same time, even if I got the even if I got to like where the level 2 artifact was, I probably wasn't going to make it back cuz I haven't even been in the level 2 area yet. <laughs> How did he take damage? Huh? He didn't even walk through it. That is very strange. Stability. I was gonna say they're not gonna chase you. Okay, I think uh, I think I'm gonna be okay for this one. This next run, I'm kind of getting used to it. There's a ravager behind him. At least there was. I don't know if it is off his trail. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't chase him. Maybe setting waypoints would be a good idea. I feel like that's too cheap. Setting waypoints and things like that. Kind of just... I feel like it just kind of takes away from the overall feel of it. I won't, I won't do anything too cheaty, I guess. But there are ways to make this a lot easier. To the point where it's probably not even... It wouldn't even be difficult. So I'm not going to do that. There's a... There's been a pathway right there the whole time, and I had no idea. Dang, I had no idea about that. That would have helped me so much if during... I mean, it, it might have been shot. I don't know. Yeah, the soul, the soul sand is going to be... Oh, he's on fire. Yeah, the soul sand is such a troll in this. Because you think you can walk on the soul sand, but you're just gonna... Yeah. The soul sand is like... A quarter... Of a block lower or something like that. Maybe not... Skadoodles! Doodles. Yeah, wow. Okay, let's I just realized since I'm lower on health, my saturation is going to go down. So I'm going to try to take some damage so then my saturation is going to be as high as I can possibly get it to be. Okay, there we go. I'm... Oh wait, I already have a shard. What am I doing? But yeah, I'm gonna just put the golden carrots in my ender chest. And then I can eat it. Er... He should have gotten his stuff by now. Please? Please? Did you get your stuff? Please? Please? Did you, did you grab your... Wait, what am I doing? Oh, freeze left. Oh, seems like it's just me left then. The dungeon is ready for its next victim. Okay. Let's hopefully finally get an actual win. Why am I running around? I need to save my saturation. Okay. Okay. Uh... Oh, okay. Um, I don't think there's anything else I need to do. Oh... Up my spawn. I think it. I think it saves anyway. Just be one hundred percent sure. 
Uh, I'm kind of confident, kind of not. Oh, hello. Level two, okay. Well, here we go. Let's try to get to that one area, which I think is here. And there's a pathway right there. Moment of clarity. Okay, out. Okay, now we're on to level two. Oh, we're speed running. Sneak. Oh, hello, buddy. I wish the spots were a little bit more, like, open, open and obvious, where to go, okay, I'm gonna die just from <laughs> bro, I can't, I can't swim up here. Okay, whatever. I give up. Ravagers right at the end of the hallway, even if I did get past that one. I didn't realize there were two Ravagers there. Okay, well, I think that's going to be it for today's video of, um, actually, we'll do one more. Since there's no one here, we're going to do one more. We're just going to wait for my stuff to come back. And while we're, while we wait for that, uh, we're going to go back to spawn. Grab another... Grab that. Grab the food. Just run around a little bit. Wear out our saturation.
yet. We're just waiting for this to say available. And then we'll <coughs> we'll eat the golden carrot. Go in. <sighs> I'm really hoping we can... That was a good run, though. We made it to level 2, finally. And we just need to kind of learn the area a little bit better. But I think we can I think we can do it just with like a couple the more attempts. The dungeon attempts. is ready for its next victim. I can grab my other deck out of there. Oh wait, can't you, like, I wanted to, can I do this, like have a build up a bunch of things, I'm not gonna do that, but, I feel like you probably could do that, and just put all these in like, into one, I'll, I'll try that and see if it actually works. But that seems a little overpowered. So I'm not going to do that for this. We're going to make sure the default mob location or mob position is right on. Right click the bed just to be sure. That's going to spawn in. Okay, everything's good. Uh, last attempt. Last attempt for today. Well, I'll probably record another video after this, though. Just because no one's here, so I can actually, like, play this without having to worry, or having to wait for other people. Level 1, nice. That's what we want. Hopefully we can end this on a win. That's what I'm hoping for. Hoping to end this one on a win. Faster than I thought you were. Where is it at? Seems like it's like right here. But it's not. And then it's like this way? How do I get on the other side of this area? Oh, in here? Uh, 
How do I get over to that? I need to go, I need to, like, keep going that way, but I don't, oh, they're here, they're here, they're here, that's right, that's right, there, it's this spot here, right, yep, I forgot about that, okay, okay, now I just need to get out, Nope, I changed my mind. Changed my mind. Pretty sure that's a hazard and I just like jumped over it. Um Oh wait, I went the wrong way. I need to go back this way. Oh I'm so stressed. So stressed. I'm so close though. I'm so close. Oh, I made it. Ah. Oh. So yeah, you throw your artifact down there, and then you get a, a bunch of this frost ember. Uh, so yeah, I got I got thirteen, and then yeah, this is the shop. So this is where you will buy things. Um, we have 15 frost embers. So yeah, some of these cards. Um, wow. Sorry, I'm just like, my heart is racing. I don't know what a victory tone is, but yeah, we need to make sure that we spend all of our, I think, I think we'll, we'll take this one and then, is there an ender chest? Official. Wait, what? Did I get the artifact? Or did I get the thing? Maybe it'll show up in my deck later. Forge. 
So yeah, it's like you can't hold on to frost embers. You have to. I'm going to be... I'm, gonna, I'm not going to be... Stupid. I'm not gonna be. <laughs> okay. There we go. So we got our... Uh, got our Ember Seeker card and... Uh, finally completed our first run. That was so stressful. Okay, well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of Decked Out 2. If you did, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. It would mean the world to me. It doesn't cost you guys anything. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys take care.